That's nice. I love that little overlay there. Alright, so here we go. Another Marth versus Kirby. Let's see some nice uh, Kenneth combinations here. And just kind of feeling each other out for a little bit for this first one. Yeah, part. yeah. No, that's against the rules. I, ma I made the rules clear before this tournament started. No touching at all. Nice, uh, nice weak back air option there. Okay, opts for that neutral air there, which hits him back on the stage. I think you want to just get Kirby, <laughs> Kirby off, right? Interesting to see how KD3 is doing. Oh, uh, here crouches. we see the crouches on the grab again. Stevie G crouches, but great D, that. great D.I., uh, okay. but you have followed to, you have perfectly. To just, he can't be holding down if he's he's invincible to gra grabs. If, look at that. So hard to hit. Kirby just so difficult to hit when he's crouching, man. Let alone grab. But yeah, there's that detail. And we, did we see a taunt for the fans? Nice bear. Now, do you think we see a Stevie oh, G up wow. the cutter at all? Great edge guard from KD3. I think if Stevie G thinks it's there, he's, he'll he's, go he's for it. He's low key a crazy fuck. Yeah, he is. He is. He goes for some crazy options. Are you allowed to say that on Twitch? You I don't fuck? care what you say here. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, here it is. And the oh, yeah, there it is. Back air is what you need. Edge, edge hook? Oh, no. And All right. That's a forward tilt. tilt. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that too, right? Because he wasn't even, like, about to grab ledge either. Nice. Uh, he, he played in, in, Invincibility Bro as well there. And look at those miss grabs. Just, like, just... Yeah, just means. swiping, just huh. swiping in the wind. Yeah, no, I thought those Kirby grabs were true on the heavies at least, but yeah, I guess definitely not Marth. Marth, do you feel like Marth has a weird weight when you're going to combo oh, him? KD, he's got to take a lesson in the double hit, uh, the short hop double aerials. Because he got the first hit of the uh, nice weight on that back air. He's not crouching anymore. Ooh, and dude. scary, scary stuff. Beautiful, beautiful edge guarding from this KD3 yeah. Marth, though, honestly. He's putting on a clinic. Let's see, let's see how he gets his next in. Kirby had zero. Oh, watching right from behind them, taking notes. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. All right, there it is. Big downer from CVG gets that stock. I think maybe he needs some up in here. Oh, nice grab. Hello. Neil's got to deal with the pizzas. And oh, almost gets the forward smash. Would have been nice to take it down to that last stock, can he? And nice way from KD. He gets up, but elects to do the get up attack, I think. Sorry, I keep holding the mic right in my face. Yeah, man. yeah, right here, right here is the. I'm so vibe. used to rapping, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Nair. Can Stevie G get this edge guard though? This will be huge, and he does, just with the ledge grab. 66%. Yeah, invincibility. KD3 so hasn't gotten grab. much mileage. Oh, here we go. There it hard. is. KD3 takes game one pretty handedly. And he's kind of electing to... He really can't play the ground grab game that Marth usually plays against other characters. Can't really do it against Kirby with all those crouches. And we see a lot more success when, like, even Lo had some success with, with Marth when they play the aerial game. That's true. Versus Kirby instead. Kirby slow that, in the air. With that long-ass sword, you know, to try and go for some Kenneth combinations. But honestly, I haven't seen a Kirby utilize the crouch as much as Stevie G has in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. It's been many, many neutral interactions where that crouch has stopped either a, a fair in the air, a grab attempt. Yeah. So credit to Stevie G for doing that, man. He did it with a He's down air as well. He it. dodged with a uh, He's crouch. definitely showcasing I mean, it, it. Kirby's just like a flat pancake from... When oh yeah! Oh my God! It's so so. <laughs> it's so so around pin. Yeah, I gotta pee. It's a, a flat pancake. Yeah, I guess flat pancake is uh, redundant. And he gets one up tilt. Oh, I don't know if maybe up tilt was. Yeah, you're up there. 
good short. That was a good. Uh, that, was, that, that was a good back air actually. Right, really quick off ground. And KD3 tries to land a forward air off ledge. Yeah, someone should say that to him in his ear after this game. He should save one in his in his yeah, back pocket. Gotta, you gotta save it. Also, he never uses uh, neutral air or, or neutral bit. Then, no, he we yeah, never. Low, yeah, low uses at a ton. And that was the good option. I was thinking maybe forward smash after that down air. Yeah, you're right. And also to recover. Ooh, that was a nice turnaround. Speaking of which, and nice grab there actually. We did. So you can, you can. You can grab, but you can't play the grab game, you know? You can punish them with grab if you're gonna punish an up tilt like he just did right there. So it's not like you can't grab, but you can't... You can't fish for grab. Yeah, unless you're... unless you're like Alvin. Oh, and he tried to maybe crouch cancel that? And nice, uh, shield drop back air there. Oh, misses that bat... that down air. Oh, uh, nice, nice shield drop, but uh, CG got that quick tap. Oh, yeah. to oh and the, the another crouches another down air. That's mad. <laughs> talking to myself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they can hear you. I'm not trying. Oh, and he kind of did the upbeat backwards to, to, yeah, to hit him and then still made it. And nice, uh, nice down tilt there. Did you see they were all just, they were just jumping in unison. And nice quick combo. Oh, if he had just fast out of that ledge, that would have been beautiful. And what a beautiful last stock. Holy, holy moly. So KD3 having a lot of success after that forward throw with the weak back air at certain percents. And that, that up B was the perfect option because he wasn't going to be able to down air. That's what he, that's his, that's his usual go-to. And up B actually, if that was true, I think, right? Okay. It's tournament mode, so the combo meter's Oh, uh, interesting. That kind of is good though, it can be distracting. What's he trying to do? Here we go, losers finals. Who gets to play Kiro Sonic after? 83 has win the first two games. They have a moment of silence in honor of fuck Vals. And here we go. And we haven't really seen up to why haven't we seen up till this whole match? KD3 tries to get there with the neutral, but he doesn't. Elects to just get up normally. Doesn't DI in and then rolls. Interesting option, but Stevie G is able to follow him. Man, and I'm back from outer space, and wow, what's happening here? Stevie G coming out to a hot start here. Ooh, great, great up beat timing, yeah. That up tilt. Yeah, no, I feel like another crouch. I feel like Marth is at weird weight, but Kirby doesn't get the full, like, 80% if he catches an up tilt at zero, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, great. 
great use of that down tilt there. That should be... Ooh, it doesn't kill there. And it definitely wasn't stale, but a ledge hog takes that down for sure. Stevie G taking his time, thinking about how to use this invincibility. Gets nothing off of it. 83 at top plat here. Oh, oh and he just crouched. But KD3 knew that oh, CBG was going to crouch because he dashed forward looking like he wanted to grab. Yeah, and then but then held up. back. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Just shows the type of mind that KD3 has down there. Right, there it is. Combo. Wow, KD3 is just explosive right now with this mark. And good, I didn't good another know he had game of invincibility, bros. That he just. Like, I didn't even know he had a mark, bro. I, I told really it's didn't. kind of very recent. He started uh, playing. Marth I think he Marth. lost to Moses at that Connecticut tournament with his Marth, and then apparently he went into the into the lab, if you will. Yeah. KD3. That, that is their venture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and that does it. Stevie G takes that. Neutral stock. B couldn't have helped him get up at all, could it? I don't think he gets any vertical. Right. Uh, yeah, it's just the horizontal. Yeah, so it could have, right? Oh, is that a different mic? Like the turnaround up lead to get the facing up lead? Yeah, like I don't know. Like straight up is the highest one, but if you want to turn around, I don't know if you can get the straight up one. Another forward tilt. Oh, there it is, KD3. That was a beautiful down. Staying, staying right in this. Very tip. Just the tip. Just the tip, and we want to see some tippers here for a quick stock on this Kirby. KD3 could 3-0 Stevie G Basically here. with that forward air. And I guess it would be a 5-0 for the entire tournament against him, huh? That is true. Just, I knew he got Stevie a little greedy. Got a little greedy with that down air there. And that's it. Man, Stevie man, G does. Game. Stevie G does assert. He says, I'm not just going to walk away here. Like, you got to earn this. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I'm gonna. saying you're not 5 L in me. I'm gonna have nightmares about that now. I'm gonna legit, like, all my sayings on commentary are getting fucking analyzed. Have you ever heard some of the shit that, like, Collinsworth and them say? Like, you just can't help from, like, uh. Yeah, you have your go to things, right? <laughs> we'll not be able to see very well with that on Cotton. <laughs> Alright, great start for Stevie here. And he crouches another grab, but then gets grabbed. Sometimes you just gotta grab yeah, twice. There he, he doesn't want the weak back air, he wants the strong one. And just the very edge of that back air hits. Fast falls with that. Great Takes smash. tech with the forward smash. Gets the tip of the... I see he doesn't kill with the nair there. That's maybe when you want to do that triple hit of the uh, the triple hit of the neutral B. It's maybe the thing to do after he gets that that back or that down air into the ground. Oh, and the tipper with the uh, down smash. We don't see that very often. And CBG mashing the taunt button, maybe trying to get in KD3's head here. And gets the grab again. We see KD3 a bunch of times whiffing one grab and then getting a grab on the follow up somehow. That fast nair. I guess just because like Kirby has to kind of get up and do to do something. And just the well trade, he's KD3. able to follow that up. Well done. He knew he had the shield pressure. He knew he had him. <laughs> Ooh, and he whiffs two grabs. This so I guess maybe CBG had been getting up in the past, and now he's like, I just need to stay crouched, and he can't touch me. Perfect. But then you eventually got to do something, right? I mean, honestly, CBG maybe is, down tilt? Is, is playing this next to perfect. Oh, he, he but, tried to down tilt after that fast but, down. Which between, been so between the, crouches, nice between the crouches and his <laughs> options at ledge, CBG's playing great, and I think he still has full, full ability to win this set. But we're going to see how this stuff goes. And just crouching, saying, what are you going to do? 
Yeah, no, it seems to eliminate most of Mart's options. Oh, uh, Dark Horse, we forgot to tell him. We forgot to tell him to plan a counter. Oh, yeah. Oh, if he loses this one, we'll we tell go. him. Here we go. One stock, one stock. Pretty fresh Kirby, too. What if we just yell it out loud? <laughs> and then it just becomes part of the game, like... Oh, gets the grab. Oh, what a neutral B! Gets the strong one, but yeah, he's he not going to get out there. there so he knew he didn't out. have that there, though. Jumps away to avoid that. Oh, oh he crouch cancels the, the forward. KD3's understanding that that crouch is going to be in play at all times now, and he's changing, yeah. his, he's changing his approach options yeah. based off of that. But now it's like, what do you do? He tries to hit him with a forward tilt. Oh, and an early up Smart upbeat. early up Smart early up from from KD3 there. <laughs> Catches the back here though. Ooh, it's gonna be a tough recovery, ah, but Stevie G can't. Tries to hit him with that back air. Tries to hit him with a forward tilt. Whips. He's just pivoting back. Stevie G just rolls up, knows he's just he's just under 100 percent Oh, okay. Nice, nice reverse back air from Kirby. Oh, there. He, there's that nair. That should do it. Yeah. Out there. So we're coming into game five. Time. We're coming into game five. Any potential switch? Is there any potential switch here from KD3? You think? I think so. No. I mean, yeah. I think I think if he goes Pika though, this should be. Uh, I don't want to see him. To, I want to see him win and then go Pika against Kiro. Yeah, I would love to see that. I want to see the Sonic. I want to see the Sonic fail for sure. I shared with KD3 the ancient knowledge. Oh, you just saw it? What did you tell him? What did you just tell him? I said, just keep a counter in your back pocket for when it's time. And now it's time. Well, we'll see. He, at one point when he comes up from ledge, you know, he's going to throw it out. And, right? Oh, the, the counter. counter. I the thought you meant a counter pick. No, no. Is there, Stevie really pressures him when yeah. he's on the ledge. So, like, just do it once. And then he has to think about it. True, true. And then change his, change his mindset a little bit. Because these guys, yeah, locked into a best of five. You kind of start getting into habits that maybe you don't want to do all the time. But there you go. He, now game he, is he, so he, quick. So he, he crouched to dodge and then down to it. Because, I mean, uh, any other moves involve him kind of standing up for like a frame. Ooh. This could be a, this could be a combo here. Bears. Oh, just missed the down air. A little late, I think they were running off that side plat. Wispy pushing them off. I don't think he wanted to run off. Mark just got a fast fall to side plat instead of uh, Ooh. instead of trying like. This could be an edge guard. Off. Yeah, I grab ledge. Yeah. Yep, that'll do it. All right, so first stock KD three in a game five at losers finals here. Three with stage control gets, gets the, the gets the, the yeah, hit. Uh, once again he gets the Kenneth That's but not the combination. <laughs> he gets the Kenneth. <laughs> oh, that should I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Can you see? Can he see? Oh, back here. I don't know. I don't know about. Oh, that because he was too. He was in the middle of dashing or running away. I'm mean, good early up here. Great, oh, like on a great Kirby pressure right there. And dodging the, the down air. Seems they're playing a little bit more aggressive here, too. I like it good for our hero. <laughs> Who's our hero oh. again? <laughs> Oh, nice, uh, nice combo there. Neil has to go get the pizza. Not a very great time for that to happen. Almost knocks the entire monitor over. Lo joining us on commentary. Yeah, Neil just says a whole lot of nothing when he's on commentary, so... Yeah, most people are pretty good at it. You realize he was in the chat and you were like, nah, I'm out. He was like, ah, Narwhal's in the chat, I'm good. The Kenneth combo. The Kenneth combination. <laughs> Guys, load it and get it. <laughs> what an idiot, am I right? Oh, gets that black air. Look at that, and just like that. 
KD3 up a stock. Makes it back. Nice get up. And was not able to. And look at that. And beautiful. Beautiful ending. KD3's like, this is my right, and I'm going to seize this opportunity.